What's up everyone, Take 10 here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually gonna be doing a requested video and that is how to start a reselling business. Let's get right into this. So I have been reselling for about three years now and I did start out small and I did expand my business little by little. I currently sell on Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji and eBay, but whenever I started out, I was only starting out, I think with Facebook and Kijiji and then I advanced a little by little until now how I do it, which is also including eBay. When you're starting out, you obviously do need some stuff to sell. Now it doesn't take a lot of money, but you will need some money to start. After you buy a few things to resell, once you sell them, I recommend just taking that money, investing it in more items to sell, and just keep that trend going up until you have it to the points where you can profit and take some of that money and put it in your pockets instead of always putting that money back into the business, which unfortunately may take a while because whenever you're first starting out, it is very time consuming, learning everything, learning what to do, how to do it, what to sell, what works for you. It does take a lot out of you. So it will take time before you're actually pocketing some of the money, but eventually you will get there. But literally, Whenever you're starting out, buy a couple things to sell. Once you sell them, take that money you made, including the profits, and invest it in more items to sell, and more items to sell, and more items to sell. I also recommend selling stuff that you know. For myself, when I started out, I was started out with video games, and now I mainly focus on video games and comic books because that's the market that I know. That's how I know how to sell. That's easier for me to look up to see whenever I'm looking for things to buy what's more valuable. And anything that I don't know, it's easier for me to research because I'm researching something that I already know. So whenever you're starting out, try to find and think of things that you enjoy in life. And then that will be easier for you to realize what you need to sell in those categories. Whenever you're starting a reselling business, you also have to plan how you're going to buy and sell your inventory which it depends on you as a person of how you want to approach that. At first, whenever it comes to buying inventory, you can check out simply yard sales, thrift stores, flea markets. You can even check Facebook Marketplace to see if you can get some great deals that you can purchase those items to flip for profit. Whenever you start out, start out small, and as you gain experience and gain knowledge, then you'll know what to look for in these certain places. For example, for me, whenever I go into thrift stores, I mainly focus on the things that possibly could be big ticket items. I don't look at DVDs or CDs anymore. I don't even look at books anymore. I look at mostly video games and consoles and the odd end items. For example, I did recently purchase a Disney piggy bank. Now this thing here wasn't even ceramic or glass. It was just plastic, but I paid $6, six or $7 for it, and it's worth over $50. So you can find deals like that. I also recently picked up a bunch of vintage alarm clock radios, and I paid $7 for two, and they sell for $30 each. So it's crazy some of the stuff that you can find, but whenever I go in, it's not stuff that I necessarily knew, but it's stuff that I had an eye for and it just caught my eye. I look it up on eBay sold comps or other sites and I realize that I can make money on it and that's what makes me pull the trigger to buy them. But whenever you're starting out, start out small, look at what you know and then gain your experience and always look up to see what things are selling for. Now, whenever you're starting out, when it comes to selling, you have to decide whether or not you're gonna be selling in person or online. In my opinion, starting out in person is a lot easier. The first thing I will say is I never give my home address. I always meet locally and I always say I'm gonna meet at various locations rather than meeting at home and them now knowing my address. I just don't feel comfortable with that. But you have to decide whether or not you're selling online or in person. Again, in person is easier at first until you gain the knowledge of selling online. Now selling online, I don't necessarily mean eBay right off the start. I mean shipping your item to somebody and them doing an e-transfer so you get the money. That's something that takes a little bit of time for you to be comfortable and understand the dynamics of selling like that. And of course, then eventually uh, getting all the way to eBay and selling on eBay and learning eBay and everything like that does take some time as well. So I honestly would recommend selling in person to starts and doing local meetups and selling on Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji and other sites. 
And the key to running a successful business is always growing your knowledge and learning more and more. Whenever I started out, I knew that I liked video games, I knew that I liked comics, but I just didn't know what values of certain things were, what I should be paying for items or big lots, what I should be selling certain things for, certain things to keep an eye out on. Now whenever I'm on Facebook Marketplace, for example, or Kijiji and I'm looking for inventory, if I see a lot of video games, I can basically just look and pick out a few that are valuable and then I can try to decide if I want to make an offer. If it's all cheap $1 games, then the bundle just might not be worth purchasing. But if I can pick out a couple $20 or $30 games or ones that are worth more, I can sell those individually on eBay sell the lots with the console locally and make my money that way. So now I have kind of an eye for it. I can look and know what I should be buying and what certain things are worth. And again, I always research, even though I've been doing this for three years, going on four years now, there's still times where I'm going to research and look up sold comps on eBay to see if, if, to see if something is worth buying it if I can sell it for what I think I can sell it for and I'm always learning so that is the key whenever you're doing a reselling business is to always keep learning keep self teaching yourself learn new things and even if that means going outside of your elements making sure you have the research before trying new items and trying to purchase outside of your niche try to do that and basically get your research and your knowledge on point Hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about how to start a reselling business. Again, it doesn't take much. You don't need a lot of employees. You don't need to sell online at first. You don't need eBay at first. You can use eBay as a learning tool to see what things are worth. But honestly, doing local meetups, looking for inventory at yard sales and that is a great start. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.